Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Earth Day. So today is a really special day because it is a day that we think about the wonderful Earth that we live in and we think of all the fun ways that we can make sure that the Earth stays happy and healthy. So today we're going to read a storybook called The Messy Magpie. It's often been noted as years have gone by that magpies collect all the things that they spy. They love all things colourful, shiny and bold, no matter how tiny, no matter how old. Morris the magpie's the same, it would seem, as he loves to pick up any objects that gleam. He takes them all home to his nest in the tree to make it look special for others to see. Can you see what things has Morris the magpie found to take home to his nest? I can see a watch. I can see a beautiful pink necklace. I can see the top of a bottle, some broken glasses and an old toothbrush. Can you see anything else that Morris the Magpie has taken home? Now one day, young Morris was struck by surprise when a gift was thrown down right in front of his eyes. As it flew from the car, Morris said, could it be that this human has given a present to me? He swooped down to pick up the beautiful gift, which was hard to manoeuvre and heavy to lift. He carried it home, though it took him all day. Then he cleaned up his present to put on display. What present had did Morris the magpie find? What is this? It's an old can of Coke. He wanted to decorate all that he could, so the next day he went to the edge of the wood. He flew to the place where the gift had been dropped, where he saw that a family of humans had stopped. He hopped down to search for his gift on the floor, but he noticed that this time they'd left many more. Shimmering treasures amongst all the green. These gifts were the finest that Morris had seen. Look at all these things that Morris is finding. Each day he returned and he couldn't believe all the wonderful gifts that were left to retrieve. His tree was soon bursting with no space for more. So he started to spread them all out on the floor. The more of these gifts that his human friends threw, the more his collection expanded and grew. <gasps> now look at this picture, boys and girls, of the lovely woods. What has happened? What can you see all over the floor? Do you think this is a happy or a sad picture? Do you think the wood looks beautiful and clean? Or do you think the wood looks sad and dirty? Then one day as Morris was sat in his tree, admiring the beauty of all he could see, he noticed that things were now changing below, that the plants were all dying and struggling to grow. The grass was not green like it had been before. The flowers were wilting, not bright anymore. His animal friends watched in fear and distress as their homes and their food were soon lost to the mess. He turned to the stream, which no longer looked blue, but instead had a horrible muddy like you. The water was flowing more slowly that day as the big piles of rubbish were blocking its way. Oh no, Morris cried 
as he gasped with alarm. I have never intended to cause all this harm. The forest is damaged. The humans weren't kind. All these gifts were just rubbish that got left behind. The pride Mar Morris felt for his lovely display was soon turning to sadness, regret and dismay. He adored the collection he'd lovingly built, but his joy had now turned to a feeling of guilt. He vowed to himself he would put it all right, so he leapt off his branch and then quickly took flight. He soared high and low, looking out for a clue that would show him the safest and best thing he could do. He noticed a truck driving past on the road, which was filled with a very familiar load. He followed the truck to see where it would go, feeling hopeful he'd find what he needed to know. Morris arrived at a bustling place which had giant containers and masses of space. Each bin had a sign marking what it was for and the rubbish piled up with each car adding more. But where did it go? Whispered Morris confused. To a shock, a voice said, it gets crushed and reused. A seagull appeared and then with a sigh, it's amazing what humans can do when they try. That's it, Morris said, and he knew what to do. If I bring it all here, they can make something new. I might need some help, but I must make amends. So he called on a couple of very good friends. They fetched and they carried for most of the night, and they worked as a team till they put it all right. When the rubbish was gone, Morris looked all around, at the stream and the flowers, the trees and the ground. He desperately hoped that he'd made enough room for the beauty of nature to once again bloom. He planted, he watered and nurtured away till the forest was thriving and growing each day. Then Morris knew nothing would make his heart sing like the colourful beauty that nature could bring. He no longer needed the shiniest nest and he realised that having a green home was best. What a lovely, wonderful story that teaches us how important it is to make sure that we reduce our waste reuse what we have and recycle what we have to throw away. Reduce, reuse, recycle.